Okay, so I'm just going to show you um, what actually happens here. I've got this um, third person character uh, and what I've done is I've mapped when I press uh, F you can see there it actually adds 10 to 10 to the score and puts it on screen now uh, I've had it when you press a key but it could be a collision so when I collect an object I get a score when I hit something basically um, I'll just show you how this is sort of done so in order to be able to get the um, the uh, information up there on the screen what I need to do is to create something called a HUD widget uh, to do that I right click and say user interface widget blueprint um, and it creates one of these uh, and when you double click on that it shows you a screen display and you can actually put some uh, text on there so I just drag some text on there uh, to create this score um, and it says score uh, colon space zero because that's what I wanted to start off at uh, then what we do is we bind it into a function um, so it will actually ask if I want to uh, add a binding uh, so I say to add a binding it automatically puts that in um, it, the get score text comes from the uh, the actual name of this box which automatically usually is text box zero or something like that uh, I've called it score text because it makes sense uh, so what actually happens is uh, then it calls this function uh, to get this information uh, so where's this function okay so if we go into the graph and in there um, what I've done is I've actually uh, created uh, something in here that uh, actually gets the player information so the player itself the third person character um, as a variable called score uh, we need to get that information so we've got an event construct which is sort of in there already I drag that out and we cast that to uh, the third person character because it's got its own blueprint and the object that we're casting to um, needs to be plugged into there which is the uh, get the, the player character player index zero is just a current player plugged into there when um, the cast is done then it sets uh, player data from the third person character and this player data um, basically is a variable that we've actually put in here which is um, the type of variable is a, an object which is the uh, third person so we've got that in there uh, what this basically does is it pulls uh, from the third person character all the all the variable data out of there okay so that's one of the steps um, if I then go on to the third person character blueprint what we can see there is we've got a couple of things one is uh, this bit is to add the hood to the screen so that it overlays on the screen so when we begin play uh, create widget uh, and the widget that we created is uh, my hood so yeah, you can have several different ones uh, and we don't need to add an owning player because it's this character uh, and then we then basically add to viewport uh, and just plug the target in, back into the return value there so that will actually add uh, add it to screen the bit underneath um, that actually this actually uh, sets the, the score up so rather than in the third person character saying when I press the F key what I've done is I've created a an event a custom event in the third person character which um, sets the score so it takes a score which is here uh, which is an integer um, and it adds 10 and sets it back um, onto the score so that this actually sets the score um, the other uh, the other uh, blueprint that we've got actually pulled this information as uh, player data so this sets the score and then the only thing remaining really is to to actually trigger this this event so what do we need to trigger it well and the level blueprint 
I've actually put a, uh, a trigger on there that says when you press the F key, it actually calls the score system event, um, which is from the third person character. So it's actually calling this, this event. So what happens when, uh, when we run it is as soon as I press F, we get this adding the scores 